and uh, whenever I watch other streamers and then they, you know, they put them in with their right hand, I feel like it looks so funny. <laughs> Does this look funny to you when I put in switches with my left hand? Uh, with your preference, what do you choose? Tanji's, Duroc Palm, Zaku. Dude, those are like three completely different switches. But if I had to pick, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Tanji's and the Palm, so I would gravitate towards the Zaku's, personally. I had to find some OP blacks because of you. Nico, did you build a board with them yet? Popus and Minx with the milky top, chef's kiss. How different are OP blacks from Gat X's? I think quite a bit different. I can't get away from Gat Minx so good. Ooh, interesting. So I had OP blacks, but they felt scratchy because the hole for the stem was too tight. So it would catch at certain angles. Weird. I don't think I've ever run into that. Never typed on any blacks, only friends black inks. I built for them. So you've never wait, what what which which black switch have you never typed on? Should I get an amp DAC or audio interface? Uh depends. I have both. So it really depends on how deep into it you want to get, right? So I have a babyface pro for my audio interface, which I also have um my Genelex plugged into, right? Then completely separately, I have a Mojo 2 with my Mez Audio 109 Pros. Thanks for the input, you got it. Yeah, but if if you if you're going for loud switches, like Moching Grape said, Zaku's like you're not gonna be disappointed. Yo, Thiggy Bust, is this a commission build? This is actually um, a personal build, believe it or not, dude. I have not done a personal build in quite some time so i'm pretty excited pretty excited tangies are overrated imo yes but i will say a big but creamsicles are pretty lit if you've never typed on creamsicles you're missing out those are not overrated have you tried the other 43 studio switches like the obsidian pro v2 i have I am a fan of the Obsidian Pro V2s. I am. Um, I am. <laughs> um, I would say Obsidian Pro V2s are um, very similar to Cherry Blacks, but I would venture to say smoother. Um, it feels like tighter stems and um, a little bit less clacky. That's how I would describe them. I, I like them a lot. Um, what IEM do you use? I currently do not have, um, an IEM. I mean, unless you want to count AirPod Pros, but I use those just for the, uh, just for the gym. <laughs> Any black switches, MX Black, Vint, Hyper, OP, never typed on them? Damn, you have some, uh, you have some work to do. Oh, damn, you own some Genelex. I do. So I just have the 80, 8010As. So... Literally the smallest Genelex they make, they're like like literally this big. But that's all I need for my stream setup because um, I, I listen to my headphones a lot now. So And they're super small for my desk. Before I had bigger speakers and I had to actually have them on stands on the sides of my desk. And um, I it just took up too much space. So now I, um, I actually have, I, I'm able to have my speakers on my desk with the 8010s. So, except creamsicles are no more. <laughs> Wait, why? You can still make creamsicles, can't you? What is the stand you are using on your desk? For my speakers or for, or this one? What IEMs, all right, so I, I Versi wants some headphone or IEM recommendations under a hundred bucks. What should he, what should they get? I cannot describe the joy I have had typing on Cherry MX Blacks. I feel them for not trying them way sooner. The ones, the one the Ness is on, sorry, very unspecific. It is a, yes, this is the Grow Made one. Yep, it is the shelf. One thing that I have found out though, is the new Grove Made shelves Maybe you guys can confirm this, but the new ones have like a big like bar right here 
um, for like a shelf underneath the shelf, which um, kind of sucks, at least for me, because what I like to do is I'll be typing and I'll put my keyboard, like there's, there's a lot of space here and I put shit under here. Um, but on the new one, I don't think you can. Um, Moondrop Arias. Literally every YouTuber in person said that maybe I should get it. <laughs> Lulz, what are your personal headphones? Um, oh, this is kind of the only nice pair that I have right now. These are the, uh, the Mez Audio, if that's how you pronounce it, 109 Pros. Um, I absolutely love these. I pair them with a, uh, a Mojo 2. So that's my setup right now. At some point in the future, I am gonna be buying some IEMs. Um, that's why I got the Mojo 2, because I can use this as a portable unit as well. Um, I'm I'm almost positive that I'm gonna be buying the Mest MK2s. Um, probably gonna buy those somewhat soon. <clears throat> open back, yes, open back. Yes, open back. Custom mold, no, not a custom mold. The only custom molded IEMs I ever had were some Ultimate Ears, which I liked, but they ended up breaking, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. They still have enough space for some low height boards. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I got the new Grove Shape Mount, uh, <laughs> Grove Made Shelf, <laughs> and uh, the shelf, mid shelf is optional. Okay, cool, got it, got it. Um, ba, ba, ba. Moondrop Arias are fantastic. Cool, cool. Could you compare the Silver Kohaku to the Lilac Harbor real quick? Sure. This is actually a very accurate representation, right? This is very clearly silver. This one has a very, very like light purple hue, lilac hue to it, right? It's funny because when this board was originally sent to me, all I read in my head was lilac. I didn't read lilac gray. So I when it when it showed up, it was in the case. I opened it up and I thought to myself, oh shit, Chunk sent me the wrong color. He sent me a silver board or a gray board. And then I took it out of the case and I was like, oh wait, this is actually lilac. So this color is super unique. I do like it a lot. It's that it's lilac gray. It only looks lilac under like certain lighting, which is kind of cool. Nice dock though. Yo, thank you. Gonna go to bed. Sad I can't stay for the rest. Deuce. Yo, deuce is fart box. Uh, I mean, my 99 cent earbuds are okay now. I guess Moondrop Aria better transfer me to a different world. I, I mean, for ni over 99 cent earbuds, I would think so. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the drop plus Dan Clark Audio Aeon Open. Ooh, I haven't heard of those. Yo, Pongers. Not the dolphin kind of lilac. I think it's kind of similar actually. I think it is in that direction. How'd you get your hands on a Kohaku? So this is actually a, um, I guess like a streamer unit, if you want to call it that. I did pay for it. There it is. Dude, Popus look so freaking good, man. Super nice. Yo, what up, HP Desk Jet, bud? Oh, dang, a lot closer than I thought. Thank you. You got it. You got it. All right. All right. We are farmers. Time to, we are ready to solder. Should I try soldering just with this today? I'm feeling kind of feeling kind of lazy. Hopefully that we don't get any boogers on the desk mat. How was living with GHV for compared to 205 grade zero? That's funny. I just answered this. Um, I felt like. 
205 grade zero. I do like quick brushes and it goes on pretty evenly. I feel like with GHV4, if I did a quick brush, um, it kind of like smeared it. So I had to like, I did a, I did it slower. So I applied it slower. I, I wouldn't say I, I like put too much thought, too much like more effort into it, but it was a little bit different application. It was almost like painting rather than like, like throwing it on there. So, yo, later, I versi. Um, mm -mm, Aria's Ikea desk, cheap Amazon grove made shelf, and maybe an amp. That is a great starter setup. Who even uses farmer's insurance? I don't know, dude. Dem popoo is so nice, I just poo pooed. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't poo poo in your, uh, in your chair. What up, Captain? How was lubing with... All right, bud. That's enough out of you. That's enough out of you. I can't wait for Nico to stream when I actually uh, am able to get to a computer uh, so I control him. Okay.